you ever talked to a cat psychologist? Well, we'll do this today and ask him what to do with cat separation anxiety. Coming up! Approximately how many domestic cats are there in the world? 100 to 200 million, 200 to 600 million, 1 to 2 billion, or 3 to 4 billion. Hi Sebastian, I'm so Hello. happy that you have time to talk with us today here on my Cat Crazy channel. Um, you know, I'm, I'm so happy because I know you're a very busy man because you have Maya and Field that you do every, every week and you're very successful with this. And so, um, but you're also an animal psychologist. So tell me a little bit how that came about and what you do, you do with this. Hello, Petra, and many things that I can be with you on your channel and welcome to your audience and um, thank you a lot. And yes, uh, my life has been naturally occupied with cats since 2017. At that time, our cat Maya was supposed to get a new furry friend to make life more comfortable. We got Mocha. And however, to get them to like each other turned out to be a real challenge, mentally and also physically. Um, there were no other psychologists available anywhere close to where we live to help us to get through this difficult time. So I decided to become one myself. In the meantime, many people approached me with their cat behavior issues and that's why I started our blog and the cat channel Maya and Field. Wow, that's amazing. A little bit because I know you really know in everything about cats or animals in general, but so cats, uh, since we are a cat channel. Um, so, um, COVID, talking back about the virus. Um, so what, what, can you do? You were like everybody was home for a long time and uh, working from home so the cat got into the routine that you were home all the time. But now many people are going back to work. So what do you do to keep your little uh, living room tiger sane? What do you do? <laughs> Yes, uh, you can do a lot to keep them um, busy and to keep them mentally health, healthy. Um, you can open at first the third dimension. Open the third dimension, cats, uh, cats love to climb and observe their territory from different spots in the apartment. So you should have a cat, cat scratch free in every room of your home. Make it possible for them to climb onto closets or shelves and give them a cozy place to lie down. They like to control and observe their territory from the highest spots available above your head. There are many other things. The second one you can do is uh, cat TV. Cat TV is very important. Talking about observation, cats need their cat entertainment. Put scratch trees by the windows so their living room tiger can watch what's going on on the street and the yard behind the house. A bird bath in front of the window is also very much appreciated. Cats get bored quickly, but you can help making them home, making your home more like a cat house. Put a net on your balcony so that they can enjoy their outside. A fish tank will also be a lot of fun for them. Also, there are specific YouTube videos for cats. One of them is called Bird Bonanza, and it's an eight-hour video that your cat will love. It increases the instinct to hunt, and there are studies about it too. And um, we have more points on the list, yeah. Uh, daily hunting, hunting games, that's very, very important. Make sure to keep your four noses busy. That means that they need at least one hour of day chasing prey. Use a fishing line or simply a thread to get your little living room tiger to hunt. Cats will only be balanced if they got to hunt something. Otherwise, they will get a target or put their energy into destroying things. And laser toys can be frustrating for cats too because they never get the satisfaction of catching the toy. Yeah. So yes, you know, um, so refrain those toys a little bit. Um, you can take them to start the, um, the game, but um, they need a prey. You can easily build one um, into your daily routine, your cat play game. 
uh, play with the fishing rod after making the bed uh, or toys in the bathroom, treads in the kitchen, uh, treats in the kitchen, and then um, you come home, play fetch in the hallway or hide some uh, treats in the spot they can get access to. It. In the evening, before feeding, your little girl Paul can uh, play with them on a scratch tree using a fishing rod, for example. And the next point, not the last one, but also a very important thing is get your living room tire occupied themselves. Keep toys out even when you're not at home. There are many toys um, that move by themselves or even provide food. These are awesome um, to keep your cat occupied during the day. But beware of keeping all toys with uh, lines or with strings on it to prevent the danger of strangulating themselves. That's very important. And the most important point on the list, we have two points left, is um, get another cat. That's why we get Mokka. Uh, even if you play with your cat all day, you can't make up to having a feeling friend around. A second cat in the home will help your cat so much because of their communication with each other. Even if they don't become best friends, they both will profit from having another cat around. In wildlife, cats need to get along with other cats and they do quite well and this is how they deal with conflicts in the neighborhood like the dog, the barking dog, etc. Every time they meet another cat outside, they will have to check the situation and see how to react to it. Um, is there another lady to feed out of cats in the evening? Well, they will communicate this among each other. A uh, human cat. Uh, a human can't help their feeling with all of these, um, so it would be quite helpful to have another cat around in your home. And yes, and the last one, the essentials you need uh, when you have a cat in your home, um, get a scratch tree in every room, and several feeding stations and the cat litter boxes, especially one more litter box than you have cats. Yes, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, you know, talking about the, the toys, um, we now have a toy box, okay? Oh. And it's it's like made out of wicker, which is like a material that they like to scratch on. Okay, so yes. and then uh, there is a lid on it, but they can open it. And they are like handles that they like us, uh, to get something out of it. So sometimes yes. they just try to just get it out from there. Sometimes they just get the lid off and then run, <laughs> run through it. And there's like lots of mice and birds and all kinds of stuff in it, you know? And then in the evening, when you look at it, it looks like a toddler, okay? Like a little boy or a girl playing all over the carpet. All of the toys are all over. So I feel like, okay, and then we're putting this all away for tomorrow again, you know? It's fun. Well, okay, um, Sebastian, thank you so much uh, for today. And um, I look forward to all the other things that we are talking about very soon, okay? Thank you. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Thank you too. So here's the answer to the quiz of the day. The Ecology Global Network estimates that there are about 200 to 600 million cats in the world. This includes all pets and strays and homeless and feral cats. According to this network, the wild cats alone um, numbers about 100 million. And here's the kicker. Across the globe, cats are the most popular pets. With the exception of Antarctica, cats are kept on every continent. And this is it for today. A big thank you to Sebastian for joining me on my show today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Sebastian will be back answering many more questions in my upcoming episodes. And if you like the show, please hit the like button and subscribe, unless you have already done that. And I hope to see you again next Tuesday. And remember, cats rule and so do you. <laughs>